Hey, so here's the statement of reasons for what we just did without statement of reasons. The very first thing you would do is you would just write the givens and then you write given. Um, but the second thing, um, when I wrote down that you had this funky thing where you could put D over A is equal to C over B, well, how would you word that? There's actually some fancy wording. I copied it from a textbook over here. You might wonder what textbook, by the way. I got it from AMSCO Geometry Textbook. I'll put a link to it. Um, it's actually in here as well. Uh, it's 12.3b, so it's in Chapter 12. If you want to go actually take a look at it or just pause the video right here. Um, but all you need to know is that this is the wording on it. And I color-coded part of one line segment with the segment a uh, to the length of the whole, well, I put that all in pink, is equal to the ratio of the corresponding lengths of another line segment. Well, that would be b plus c. Um, then the two segments are divided proportionally. And what does divided proportionally mean? It just means when two segments corresponding parts are in proportion. So in this case, it just means setting up d over a, because those are the parts of one segment, is equal to c over b, and those are the parts of the other segment. Okay, so um, that's the fancy wording on it, and we use that for both ST over QS is equal to WV over QW, the first thing I wrote in blue over here, but also for the first thing I wrote in orange over here, which is TX over XV is equal to QW over WV. Okay, um, but then the next thing that we did was we took the reciprocal of this orange one, and how would you write out reasoning for that? Well, you would write if A over B is equal to C over D, then B over A is equal to D over C. Or you could write out something like when you have an equation, you can take the reciprocal of both sides. Um, and again, if you wanted to prove that, it's really not that difficult. All you would do is just cross multiply on both sides. It's probably the easiest way to check it. And you end up getting the same equation for whichever one you cross multiply. All right, and then what was the last thing that we did? Well, we just took the fact that we had two things both equal to WV over QW, the ones that I circled beforehand, and we set them equal to each other because they were both equal to the same thing. Well, what's that called? That's called the transitive property. And then lastly, since we have the reciprocals of what we want, because in the proof, they actually wanted QS over ST, not ST over QS, and TX over XV, not XV over TX. You just do the reciprocal rule again. So you just write out the exact same reasoning. All right, so you'll notice we got more statements and reasons. That's because before you can do this, you actually have to first state that each of those triangles is similar to the biggest triangle there. So those reasons up until 1.3 are pretty straightforward. You just need to do AA for each of those steps, um, for each of those triangles. But then 1.4 might be a little unclear why you need it. Well, it's actually within the um, requirement of 12.3b here. It says, if the ratio of the length of a part of one line segment, well, that was our A. Um, to the length of the whole, well, that was our A plus D, is equal to the ratio of the corresponding lengths of another line segment. Well, um, the corresponding lengths would be the B and the C plus B. Then the two segments are divided proportionally. And the two segments being divided proportionally just means the D over A is equal to C over B. So before you can say D over A is equal to C over B, um, the way that we worded our 12.3B theorem, you have to first write down that D plus A over A is equal to C plus B over B. But if you notice at 1.4, that's in the form of D plus A over A is equal to C plus B over B. For um, triangle, uh, well, the triangle that I put with the blue line right here, and now I'm writing over it with purple. And then again, you have to do it for the triangle that I put in orange over here, which I put on the right. That was the one that had TX and XV in it.